The haunting night shift, whispers in the halls of St. Mark's Hospital. The sterile halls of St. Mark's Hospital echoed with an unsettling emptiness as I walked the dimly lit corridors. I was the night nurse, tasked with tending to the patients left in the eerie silence that only nightfall could bring. The flickering fluorescent lights overhead cast ominous shadows, making the hospital seem like a ghostly labyrinth. My name is Emily, and I had worked the night shift for years, but tonight felt different, as if the very air whispered secrets that sent shivers down my spine. The hospital had an unsettling history, with tales of patients who never left their beds, mysterious noises in the dead of night, and shadows that seemed to move independently. The room was cold, despite the thermostat reading a normal temperature. A single bed lay in the center, occupied by an elderly woman named Mrs. Anderson. She had been bedridden for months, her eyes clouded by the passage of time. Tonight, however, her eyes gleamed with an unnatural intensity. As I approached room 213, I felt a chill crawl up my spine. This room had an ominous reputation, a place where patients were said to see things that lurked beyond the realm of the living. Ignoring the uneasy feeling in my gut, I turned the doorknob and stepped inside. Emily, she rasped, her voice sending a shiver down my spine. They're coming for me. Can't you hear them? I strained my ears, but all I could hear was the distant hum of the hospital machinery. Mrs. Anderson, there's no one here. You're safe. She grabbed my hand with surprising strength, her grip like ice. No, dear. They're always here, in the shadows, watching and waiting. Unease settled in the pit of my stomach as I checked the monitors and adjusted Mrs. Anderson's IV. The room felt oppressively quiet, and the air grew heavier with each passing moment. As I turned to leave, a soft whisper echoed through the room. Emily. I froze. My heart pounding in my chest, the voice seemed to come from nowhere, yet it surrounded me like an invisible presence. Swallowing my fear, I forced myself to continue down the hallway, but the whispers persisted. The hospital seemed to come alive at night, with strange creaks and distant murmurs filling the air. I quickened my pace, avoiding eye contact with the old portraits that adorned the walls. It felt as though their gaze followed me, judging my every step. As I approached the abandoned wing of the hospital, a flickering light drew my attention. The door to the morgue swung open slowly, revealing a faint glow from within. Dread settled over me like a suffocating fog, but curiosity pushed me forward. The morgue was cold, and the smell of formaldehyde hung in the air. The dim light revealed rows of covered bodies on stainless steel tables. I approached cautiously, my eyes fixated on one particular sheet that seemed to twitch ever so slightly. With trembling hands, I peeled back the sheet to reveal an empty gurney. Confused, I turned around, only to be met with a chilling sight. The bodies on the other tables had risen, their lifeless eyes fixated on me. I stumbled backward, my heart racing as their cold hands reached out. Join us, Emily, they whispered in unison, their voices a haunting chorus. I ran, the sound of my footsteps echoing through the empty corridors. Panic set in as the hospital seemed to morph around me, the walls closing in. The whispers grew louder, and shadows danced in my peripheral vision. I burst into the nurse's station, gasping for breath. The flickering lights cast erratic shadows on the walls, and the air felt charged with an otherworldly energy. My hands fumbled to call for help, but the phone emitted only static. Suddenly, the lights went out, plunging the station into darkness. The whispers surrounded me, and I felt a cold breath on the back of my neck. As the shadows enveloped me, I realized I was not alone in the night at St. Mark's Hospital. The spirits of the forgotten patients had awakened, and they hungered for the company of the living.